Okay, what's an ion? People talk about ions all the time in chemistry, so what are they? Well, an ion is an atom or a group of atoms that have an electrical charge. Okay, that's all it is. Now, how does this happen? though? Well, inside atoms, there are two things that have an electrical charge. There are protons that have a positive charge and electrons that have a negative charge. A lot of times in atoms, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So the charges balance out and you don't have any total charge. But sometimes an atom can gain or lose electrons so that it gets more or fewer electrons and protons and then the numbers don't balance out anymore and it's left with more negative charge because it has more electrons or it's left with more positive charge because it has more protons. Let me give you a couple examples of how this happens. Let's look at the atom sodium. Sometimes when I'm talking about atoms, I'll just draw them as the element name inside a circle to indicate that, that that's the atom I'm talking about. But for our purposes, we're going to want to zoom in a little bit more. Here I've drawn two things in the zoomed in version of the atom. I got protons here in the nucleus in red, and then flying around on the outside, I have these electrons, which I've drawn as black dots. If you know a lot about atoms, you might know that I've left out the neutrons, which also live in the nucleus. But it's no big deal because neutrons don't have a charge at all. They're neutral, so they're not important for what we're talking about here. Anyway, right now, sodium has, if we counted them, 11 protons here in the nucleus, and it has 11 electrons flying, out, flying around outside. So the number of protons equals the number of electrons which means that my total net charge is zero. They cancel each other out. And so something that has no net charge, like this sodium atom, we call it neutral. Okay? But here's what can happen in sodium. You see this electron right here? It can lose this electron. It can lose it and it flies off and usually goes into another atom. So let's look at what happens when this electron here gets lost and now we're going to end up with a sodium atom that has 11 protons, just like it did before. But now because it's lost this electron that used to be here, that was here, now it's not here anymore. Now it only has 10 electrons. So now the positive and negative charges don't balance out anymore. And I'm left with more positive charge than negative charge. So this thing now is going to have a charge of plus one, one more positive charge and negative charge. And so I can write this, if I want to talk about the atom, I can write it as Na plus to show that it has a positive charge. Whereas this, when I'm talking about a neutral atom, I'll probably just write Na. So Na plus here is an example of an ion. It's an atom that has a charge, and it's a specific type of atom. We have a name for this. We call it a cation, which is what we call an atom, uh, I'm sorry, an ion, what we call any ion that has a positive charge. Okay? Let me show you another example. Okay, so here's an atom of oxygen. The atom that I've drawn here has eight protons here in the nucleus and it has eight electrons outside. So we have the same number of protons and electrons, which means that the total charges balance out, the plus and the minus balance out. So I have a net charge of zero, and I can say that my oxygen atom is neutral. It has no net charge. But oxygen can gain or lose electrons, and actually it really likes to gain two electrons. And here's a picture of the uh, uh, oxygen atom after it's gained two electrons. And now it still has eight protons in the nucleus. And if I count up these electrons, it now has ten electrons instead of eight, which it had before. So now the protons and electrons don't balance out anymore. And I have more negative charge than I have positive charge. I've got two more electrons and protons. So that means that my total net charge is going to be two minus. I can write the symbol for this ion as O2 minus to show that it has a 2 minus charge, whereas this neutral guy over here, I can just write O. This is an ion because it has a charge, and there's a specific name for it. We can call this an anion, which is the word that we use to describe a negatively charged ion that has more electrons and protons. Okay, here's just a little bit of vocabulary for review. So an ion is an atom or a group of atoms that have a charge. Okay, now it's possible for an atom to be neutral, which means it has no charge, means it's not an ion. But if something is an ion, 
It can be either a cation, which is what we call a positive ion, or it can be an anion, which is a negative ion. Here's a way that I, can, that I use to remember this, okay? Anion, I think of this as standing for a negative ion, okay? And then cation, you can remember this, it's really cheesy, but you can remember this because cats have paws and a cation is positive. All right, you'll never forget it. I swear, you'll never forget it. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to mention. I've said that an ion is an atom or a group of atoms with a charge. I haven't said anything yet about the group of atoms. So more than one atom can come together, they can stick together and form a group or a clump, and then that whole clump of atoms has a charge. When this happens, we call it a polyatomic ion, a group of atoms that have a charge. Poly means many, and atomics, you have many atoms together that form an ion. I'll talk about polyatomic ions in future videos, so you want to check those out if you need to learn more about polyatomics. Anyway, just to review what we've learned, we learned that an ion is an atom or a group of atoms that have a charge, and something gets a charge when the number of protons and electrons don't balance out. You have more protons than electrons, you'll have an, ad you'll have an ion with a positive charge, you call it a cation. You have more electrons than protons. You have an ion with a negative charge, and you call that an anion.